What's up guys, my name is Teddy, and bartering or sailing can be a monster just to level, let alone prepare for it. It doesn't have to be though. Using what I like to call ocean embrace sailing and bartering can have you hitting skilled sailing for the breezy sail skill or just reduce the parlay cost for bartering faster than before. So if you've been looking for a way to increase the experience earned while sailing and bartering, get those ships ready and let's start oceans embrace sailing and bartering. Trying to level sailing and bartering the guru can seem extremely impossible with how long it takes to level sailing or just how long it takes to sail from island to island when you aren't using a carrick. Using the dailies can get a nice amount of experience a day, but once they're done, sailing and bartering have to be manually leveled up. To help out with that, we have a way to get more experience and not spend hours struggling. This is the Ocean's Embrace Sailing and Bartering. This combination of gear and buff focuses around the lifestone combination Ocean's Embrace. This not only helps speed up sailing, but bartering at the same time, removing the need to change gear or use different buffs just to get the most. It's to be noted, this is only great for sailing around the Ross Sea and Morgoria. Sailing from island to island bartering will not earn you any sailing experience. And though there are the sailing and bartering specific artifacts, this one makes sure you can sail and barter with the added experience instead of just the one specific one. Don't worry though, the Ocean's and Bracelet Zone combination is perfect for this. This combination can be done using the Bartelli sailboat or higher, making this easier to be done by those getting their first boat or those who have a Carrick and are just trying to hit Guru faster. Those who already have Guru will have no need for this combination and should just focus on mastery gear like the Mana Sailor's Clothes for the increased mastery used for the ship stats. But let me show you how to get everything needed for the Ocean Brace Sailing and Bartering. Like with the time and money needed to start sailing or bartering, Ocean's Embrace Sailing and Bartering can take a little time to get prepared and can be a little costly to get all the items needed or enhanced. But once everything is ready, it makes sailing easier to level and bartering sooner. To start off the list is the usual, the value pack. This adds plus 30% life experience, plus 16 storage slots, plus 50 barter refresh, and allows you to remotely check special barters. The value pack can only be bought from the pearl shop, or can be bought from the central market. The next go-to buff is the Secret Book of Old Moon. This gives plus 50% life experience earned and plus one wharf slot. These like the value pack can be bought in the pearl shop or be bought from the central market. Moving on to the next item on the list is the plus four silver embroidered sailor's clothes. These provide plus 25% sailing experience and plus three movement speed. As an additional bonus, we are given Mermaid's Wish 4. These can be made in any costume mill or bought from the central market. To go along with the silver embroidered, using the equipment tailoring coupon on the professional sailor's clothes will convert it into a costume. This gives plus 10% sailing experience. The tailoring coupon can be bought from the pearl shop or the central market. As for the professional sailor's clothes, these can be obtained from any luxury vendor in any major city. The next item are the Manos accessories. Wearing full try will give plus 55% life experience and adds plus 135 mastery. These can be bought from the Crow Coin Shop, Crafted, 120 Golden Chaka 2 Seals, or can be bought from the Central Market. Now for the main focus, the Ocean's Embrace Lightstone Combination. This combination can be made using either the Sailing, Bartering, or the Normal Life Artifacts depending on your choice. This set of artifacts cannot be bought and have to be obtained from Sea Monster Hunting or Bartering. The Normal Life Skill Experience and Mastery Artifacts are dropped from just doing life skilling in general. The combination, this requires the Floor Lightstones, Haggler, Blue, Uncharted, and one Iridescent Lightstone. This adds 10% Sailing Experience, plus 10% Barter Experience, plus 45 Sailing Mastery, and gives Mermaid Wish 3. These can be obtained from either Purifying and Perfect Lightstones, or can be bought from the Central Market. There is a chance to get an Iridescent Lightstone while doing Dark Rift Bosses, and these can also be bought off the Central Market. 
really fast. Comment down below if you use this lightstone combination or didn't even know about it. With needing to switch between just the sailing or bartering combinations, it can get frustrating and not having to switch can make things a lot easier. While you're down there, be sure to drop a like if you're enjoying the life scaling content here on the channel. All the support helps grow the channel and I couldn't do this without you guys. Getting back into the oceans, embrace sailing and bartering is the Kafir's Journal of Nature. This adds 10% life experience. This can only be obtained from completing the Deeb's Encyclopedia Adventure Log. If you need help getting your own Kafir's Journal, the link to the guide will be in the description down below. Eating the Seafood's Cron Meal adds another 10% life experience and plus 25 life skill mastery. These can be made either using cooking or can be bought off the central market. Using the Perfume of Swiftness also adds another plus 20% life skill experience. These can be made using alchemy and can be bought from the central market. These are also given out during events and login bonuses. The Deer Drafts add another plus 20% life experience. These can be made using alchemy or can be bought off the central market. The next draft that can be used are the Celerity Drafts. Both the normal and unbridled Celerity Drafts add another plus 20% sailing experience. These can be made using alchemy, given during login bonuses, and can be bought off the central market. The Secret Book of Florin will add another plus 20% life skill experience and plus 100 life skill mastery. These can be obtained from completing Liana's weekly quests, the login bonus, and the Black Spirit Adventure. These cannot be bought off the central market, sadly. The life experience scrolls are another good item to use with each adding life experience depending on which scroll is being used. The 10% life experience scrolls are the most common with being able to get them from login bonuses, the Black Spirit Adventure, and lastly, these are given out during events. These can also be bought from the Pearl Shop, and sadly cannot be bought from the central market. Any other buff foods or event items like using the Geovan Grolin support scroll adds another plus 20% life skill experience and plus 100 mastery like the Book of Florence. These can be obtained after graduating the season or the login bonuses. Another buff food that can be used is Lara's Warm Black Tea. These add another plus 30% life skill experience but can only be obtained from the Black Spirit Adventure and cannot be bought off the central market. Now onto the pets. Using any life skilling pet has plus 1% life skill experience per tier. Using one tier 5 life skill pet and three tier 4 pets will give plus 21% life skill experience. These can be bought off the pearl shop or can be bought off the central market. The last item that can be used is the Philosophy's Bookshelf with Knowledge on Sailing. This furniture adds a final plus 3% sailing experience. This bookshelf can be obtained by completing the Great Expedition Explore the Califion Islands questline. To get started with this, opening up the quest, hitting the suggested, and scrolling down to the Great Expedition Explore the Califion Islands quest tab will lead you to where to start. There are two other quests in the line that will provide more bookshelves just in case you choose a different one or just want another. These can also be bought off the central market. Any other event items like the GM's Blessing or the Book of Life will also increase the life skill experience earned and guild buffs are also great. If you have any anniversary cakes, these will also add plus 10% life skill experience, but these are only given out once a year. With all the items and gear, this should help you speed up getting skilled sailing or just leveling bartering in general. Sadly, there are no other ways to speed up sailing other than using higher enhanced gear. Sailing and bartering is like trading and farming in terms of the gear or items that give experience. Even though bartering and sailing can take a while to level and just going from island to island can take hours just to complete a trade route, using the ocean's embrace sailing and bartering can reduce the time needed to unlock bartering or the breezy sail skill. Using lightstone combinations are great for leveling and provide nice bonuses, making these a cherry on the top for life skilling. The ocean's embrace combination may not give the most experience for sailing like with the chasing the sunset combination or like with bartering's master negotiator combination, but comes with a balance of both 
growth, so you won't have to change artifacts each time. With the land of the morning light coming out in the future, now's the perfect time to start preparing a level sailing and bartering. Who knows, they might update the great ocean content and start giving sailing a whole new reason to start using the ocean's embrace sailing and bartering combination more. I hope this helps you start leveling faster and getting those sailing and bartering goodies. Using this combination has helped me with leveling, sailing, and bartering, but if you want to see other light zone combinations, click this playlist here, or if you want to just see how to level those life skills and make money, click this video here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on all those notifications so you know when I come out with another Black Desert online guide. And with all of that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoy your week in Black Desert, and I'll see you in the next guide.